Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're working on a Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS. And since I get a lot of questions asking about the process of maintaining and uh, detailing and following up on cars that are already coded, we'll use this as an example today because that's exactly what we're doing. This car has been coded and we are doing a maintenance cleaning and adding a topper. We're going to clean it inside and out. I'll show you everything I use and how I use them. As you can see, it's rather filthy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a good rinse. We're gonna get rid of any grit, any loose contaminants that either if they're bonded or not, we can rinse them free. As you can see in the roof here, the coating itself, which is Modesta, has plenty of beading. It's still uh, holding up strong after all this time. So let's give it a good cleaning, add the topper, send it back out on its way. The wheels and calipers are in terrible need of a good scrubbing, so we'll grab the Max Shine FEX. This is an iron remover and also a wheel cleaner, and we're going to liberally douse this wheel and caliper with the cleaner, let it do its work, and we can start to uh, gently lift that. Guys, uh, brake dust is very abrasive. Any surface that it comes in contact on your car, you want to be careful. And if you can chemically remove it um, or re remove as much of it as possible before you start to touch it and agitate, that's always a great idea. And yes, by the way, Max Shine does make the rest of the chemical lineup to go with their polishers and tools. They make anything from polishes to compounds to the wheel cleaner and iron remover that you see here to even clay lube. The products I have tried so far, very effective, uh, very economical. Uh, the only thing, the only drawback or the only negative I have are the spray nozzles on their bottles are absolutely horrendous. I'm really loving the Incredi brush, having the, the residue and the dirt from the wheel not spraying back onto me. And look how much it picks up really does a great job. So let's rinse all of the crud and the brake dust free of the wheel and it'll be squeaky clean. Now we can take care of the pre-wash, break out the foam cannon, and we're going to use the PPF Q2M wash. This is a safe and very slick shampoo and iron remover all in one. I've been loving it, and you can use it on paint and PPF the same. And very effective, does a great job, gives you plenty of suds, but most importantly, in the wash bucket, you'll have plenty of lubrication. Gion makes a ton of great products. Uh, really, I could count the, the number of products that I don't care for on one hand. Uh, it happens to be all of their compounds and heavier polishes. The primer is absolutely fine. You want to let that dwell on the surface as long as you can. I'll probably get a maximum of four minutes today in the direct sunlight and extreme heat. In the meantime, I can go around, grab my soft detail brush, and uh, agitate any dirt or crud or traffic film that is in corners and hard to reach.
that is about as long as I can wait. Even if it does start to dry, all you have to do is re-wet it with your hose or your power washer. You can see the purple here, the iron remover within the formula, very effective. But if it, if it starts to dry, just re-wet it. It reactivates so you can rinse it free from the surface. We haven't even touched the vehicle already. It is looking a lot better. A lot of the bug splatter off the front nose of the car. The wheels are looking great. We have a little bit of traffic film still bonded to the bottom side of the driver's and passenger side of the car. We'll take care of that again with the Gion PPF wash and iron remover. An ounce or two in your wash bucket with uh, quite a few of the microfiber madness wash mitts plenty of lubrication as i mentioned earlier in the wash bucket let's get to it That takes care of the contact wash. We're going to quick pull it inside to avoid water spots and start to dry the vehicle. Uh, my favorite still, the Sucker and Sucker Junior. While my son likes the microfiber madness uh, drying towels, we'll get most of it off with that. Then I will go around the mirrors and the edges where the water likes to lay and stick and run out later when you don't want it to. I'll use the Metro Vac Light Machine from McKee's and blow that stuff out of there. Next step, contaminants can still bond to a coating. Not quite as much as just a regular naked uh, clear coat, However, if it has been neglected, not washed in quite some time, you will feel some mostly down at the bottom of the vehicle around the wheels. And just put your gloves on or a bag over your hand and lightly go over the surface. If you feel any of the bonded contaminants, use a very mild clay or, or plumber's putty and uh, a nice good clay lube from MaxShine. That's what I'm using here today. And just clay wear and whenever it's needed. No more, no less. Uh, if you use anything aggressive, you will have to follow up with a polish. With the iron remover, ferrous metal remover, uh, part of the PPF and paint shampoo from Gion, we can skip a step there and move on to the PPF. This thing has three quarters of it covered with paint protection film. And that can be spruced up as well with shampoos, QEDs, polishes. Yes, polishes. We're going to use the Gion PPF Renew. That is a very mild cleanser. Um, it also protects as well. I like to get the polisher out with a black application pad. Not aggressive whatsoever. Just use it to clean up the areas that uh, look a little neglected. Very light pressure. Keep the speed down. You want to keep the heat down as well. That's worst enemy of PPF.
And finally, we can condition and protect the PPF with Gion PPF Q2M Maintain. This happens to be a hydrophobic sealant formulated for films, but it works just fine on painted surfaces, wheels, plastic, headlights, taillights, all hard surfaces. That will be applied to three quarters of the car, and then I'll jump to the painted surfaces that are coated with Modesta, use their designated topper, or any topper that works well and plays well with it. Moving right along, the wheels and calipers are coated, and we can use Angel Wax Luminosity, which is formulated for matte or satin surfaces, to condition, uh, to protect. This is a great topper. It does condition, making the wheel look darker and richer. It will not give it a sheen and make it look glossy. And finally, the cherry on top, so to speak, and that's the Fireball Tire Coatings. Comes in satin matte, comes in gloss, all sold separately, and these are fantastic. I really like these. I've been using these at the shop every day. When you're finished, you can leave it as is. You can grab a microfiber, wipe it down, and kick back that gloss a little bit, or you can add a second layer to match your taste. The external portion of the detail is complete, a nice transformation, squeaky clean, and very glossy. I do have to take care of the interior, and I will get footage because we have a, this interior, guys, is gorgeous, luscious, Alcantara, real sporty. Uh, you know, a, a real blast to work on this car. I'll grab footage, share it with you in the next video. And to put some numbers behind what we're seeing, and we're even going to measure the gloss on top of the PPF. And gloss meters and PPF do not get along, and we're still getting readings in the mid-90s. That'll do it for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by, going along for the ride. Catch you guys in the next video.